Um, yeah. Good, what? Good what? Are you right today? I'm so lost. Like, I've never done this before. What are these words? <laughs> Good morning, friends. As you probably already know, I'm in San Francisco and um, I'm with Renee. You might remember her from some of my previous projects, Friends Do Disney and Vegas Isn't Ready For Us. And now here we are, she's gonna co-star in Getting Cray Down By The Bay. So Woo! it's gonna be a good day. We have a lot planned today, so we'll see what's up and how all that goes and whatever, but um, we'll see what we see and do what we do and we'll talk soon. So we decided for the first day that we were going to go down to Fisherman's Wharf and we were going to walk there and we were definitely pretty eager to get going. We left the room at around like 8 in the morning and made our way out and down towards the harbor and the pier and everything at Fisherman's Wharf wasn't too far away but it was certainly a trek to get there and I'm not sure I was fully mentally prepared for the vast number of steps that we'd get in this weekend. Good thing all the streets here in San Francisco are perfectly flat and there's no hills at all. I don't know if this is even going to translate but that's quite a trek. craziness so at certain points today you're gonna have to deal with like you know my heavy breathing <laughs> we'll talk soon Downtown San Francisco, like most major metropolitan cities, is very walkable. That's one thing I really like about being in the city environment like that. But San Francisco has a different look and feel than other cities that I've been to. It has like a charm and overall level of comfort that I think is missing from places like New York and LA. And that's definitely not something I was expecting at all. The fact that I almost instantly felt comfortable there. All right, so we stopped for some tea because we were, because <laughs> it's, the, it's the tea. Um, yeah. Good what? <laughs> Good what? Are you all right today? <laughs> I'm so lost. You're like I've never done this words? before. <laughs> what are these words? But yeah, we we needed um we needed a, a cool beverage and some caffeine. So that's that's what I'm trying to say. Anyway, we'll talk soon. So from there, we continued to traverse through the different streets and alleys and through and down and up and in and all those things. I can't say exactly how many blocks it was from our hotel to Fisherman's Wharf, but it was enough to like work up a sweat, but also feel accomplished. And we made sure to pass through where the famous San Francisco Zigzag Street is. And I was surprised to see that people actually live off of that street, as in they actually have to drive on it to get in and out of their driveway or condo or whatever. And I suppose that's something you'd get used to. But for me, I don't think I'd want to drive on that road at all, let alone have to do it every single day. But as a tourist attraction, it's definitely a cool thing to see in person and to walk down and all that. And then at this point, we were very near the pier and such, and we were getting pretty hungry, so we saw a sign that said food and shops and stuff this way. So we went down through this alley, and there was this nice-looking brunch place there. I can't remember the name of the actual restaurant, but it was kind of like a nautical theme, and it was inside this hotel. And I got an Eggs Benedict and a Bloody Mary, and Renee got some sort of breakfast plate. And then from there, we made our way over to Fisherman's Wharf, and there's all kinds of shops and stores and different places to get souvenirs and that kind of thing. And we entered basically at the far end, which meant we got to walk through the whole thing. And then at one point, this guy approached me and gave me this I love your smile sticker. And it turned out he wanted me to donate to the homeless. But his spiel and everything was pretty good. So I gave him like eight bucks. And then we made our way around to figure out what we were going to do with the rest of the day. Hi, friends. So we got tickets for Sausalito. We're waiting for the ferry. A couple of ferries to get on a ferry. You know how it goes. Um, Renee says this is like a super cool island, and then we're gonna do the, the Golden Gate back, I think. Is that what the yeah, plan is? We're gonna, trek it back. we're gonna walk it, so that'll be an adventure. Um, we'll talk soon. We had about 45 minutes to kill until our showtime for the ferry, so we decided to explore some more. There was one major area that we hadn't been to yet, which was actually right next to where we had bought the tickets and very near our departure pier, so it was pretty convenient. And this area definitely had that harbor kind of boardwalk vibe that I love so much. And in the middle of this area, they had like a carnival set up, and I was excited to see a double-decker carousel because those are kind of rare. And so we walked over closer so I could get some good footage of it. And if I'm being honest, old carnival rides like that are like an obsession of mine, so I was definitely in my element. Not too long after that, we made our way over to the ferry boat and got on board to head to Sausalito. Sausalito is a very beautiful part of the Bay Area, and taking the ferry over there was super cool. And I mentioned in the past that ferries are among my favorite types of transportation, and the fact that that's the easiest way to get to Sausalito is super cool to me. The ferry was maybe about three quarters of the way full, and we decided to sit up top. The weather was really nice while we were in San Francisco, and especially this day, it was really sunny, quite a bit warmer than I was expecting, if I'm being honest. And so yeah, the boat journey to 
Sausalito is about 15, maybe 20 minutes, and they basically drop you off in the heart of it all. Sausalito actually reminds me a little bit of Catalina Island in Southern California, which if you saw my Carnival Radiance Cruise Vlog series, you'll know that I'm actually a fan of Catalina. I definitely enjoyed it there, and even more than that, I enjoyed Sausalito. We looked around the area, and they had like different parks, and obviously restaurants, and bars, and even hotels you could stay at if you wanted to be on Sausalito versus the mainland. But ultimately, we ended up finding a pub. It had a nice outdoor area, and it kind of had like a European vibe to it. And we're expats at heart, so it just made sense. And they had a pint special, so I had several pints of different beers while we were sitting there. And we just kind of chatted and reminisced and dreamed about the future. So we're done at this cute little bar that we were at, and now we are down by the bay. Isn't that pretty? Yeah, it's so pretty. And, and the ocean's behind us, too. Right? Because Renee's pretty. No, I'm just kidding. Get it? <laughs> anyway, we'll talk soon. So from there, we decided to explore more of Sausalito, especially the part right there along the water, which we hadn't seen yet. And the whole area was pretty breathtaking, and we found some houses that we thought maybe we would want to move into someday when we're zillionaires. One of them was listed for sale, so we looked it up, and it was a tiny little two-bedroom that was going for about two and a half million dollars, so you know, not a whole lot. No big deal at all to most people. I always used to say that if money was no object, I would move to San Diego, but San Francisco is probably my new front runner, or if not, it's a very close second. I would just have to, like, triple my income to be able to afford living there. We had intended to go over to the Golden Gate and walk across back into San Francisco across the bridge, but it was getting kind of late in the afternoon and we were feeling pretty tired and we also didn't know logistically how easy it would be to get an Uber to come pick us up and bring us over there, so we decided to just take the ferry back and that we would do the Golden Gate Bridge another day. Hi friends, so we're back on the ferry heading back over to the main um, land. But anyway, um, we decided to get some Jacks and Cokes. We're both we're, we're both we're, we're, we're both whiskey drinkers, so um, <laughs> that's what we got. And uh, these are like doubles at least, because he was killing the bottle, and then halfway through decided, wait, that's a lot, but too late. So he poured the second one just as heavy as the first one. So we're not complaining. Anyway, so back on the ferry. Well, we because we were at the bar, we didn't get a seat, so all the seats are taken, as you see. But that's okay. Cheers. We'll talk soon. After having a very fabulous seafood dinner on Fisherman's Wharf, we decided to walk back to the hotel. We did our walk back so that we would purposely walk through the Chinatown area, and we went into some of the shops and stuff there, and they had this kind of like dragon thing that they were setting up, and they were all getting into costume and stuff, but we actually had plans to come back to Chinatown the next day, so we just observed for a few minutes and then carried on back to the hotel. All right, y'all, it is time for bed. Um, Renee is already in bed, and I'm about to get in bed. Um, but I wanted to stop in and say goodnight to you guys. Look how much sun I got today. Don't I look embarrassed? <laughs> um, I'm gonna definitely put some sunblock on tomorrow. I forgot today. It was chilly this morning and I was like, I'll be fine. Turns out the sun still exists when it's cold. So, um, anyway, that's the day. Hopefully it was a, as good a day for you as it was for me. Um, uh, but anyway, I want to thank you all for watching. Be sure to like, comment, share, subscribe, all those fun things. We'll talk soon and... Y'all have a good night.